Okay, I'm out here in my garage shop uh, to show you how to cut triangles uh, with bevels on them so that they can uh, form corners of a isosahedron. Um, I showed in another video how to determine this angle, um, which I have recorded on this adjustable bevel, uh, which I'll use to set up the saw. Um, I was also in the previous video showing you how, you know, in this isosahedron, same thing. Um, this is one part left over from making this, and uh, this is the bevel that we're talking about trying to cut. So what I'm going to do is um, trace this triangle. This is a pattern for an equilateral triangle that I'm going to use. I'm going to trace this, uh, five of them, onto this scrap three-quarter inch poplar plywood and um, actually it's basswood plywood and then I'll set the saw to this angle and cut them uh, okay so maybe while the table is um, uh, horizontal uh, I'll take advantage of that to uh, use it as a work surface to draw some triangles Someone's phone number there. Maybe I should. That moved at the last second there. I think it's okay. And uh, we'll just make four here. It'll be six all together. Okay, take these off, and now I'm going to raise the guard on the bandsaw so I can see as much blade as possible. It's now set at 90 degrees. I'm going to loosen the table clamp, and uh, this is the angle I'm going to set the blade to table to. So I'm going to tip the table, hold the you know, I'm going to hold the uh, adjustable bevel this way, but because I'm looking at it from this side, I'll, I'll do it from this side. And by sight, I'm going to line up the blade with this bevel. And then lock it, lock the table, and check it again. Seems to be okay. Um, we're still recording, good. And lower the guard and guide assembly. And then uh, we'll try making a cut and testing the cut, okay? I'm trimming this little bit off here and just continue around. basically it and I can check to make sure this is working. That seems to be my angle. That's good. So I don't know if I need to do more. But just to show you, maybe show myself. I just kind of quickly cut four more. And put the five together on the corner. I'm doing this kind of quick and uh, going by eye. I guess if I want to be more accurate, I would leave a little bit of material and then set up the same bevel on a uh, sander, disc sander. And 
and uh, with the disc sander, uh, just clean up these angles. If I wasn't recording a video now, I'd probably stop and clean my glasses. I've got some dust in my glasses and I'm trying to follow the side of my eyes. If I wanted to make a nice uh, isosahedron, I would need 20 of these triangles. Every time these drop off the uh, bandsaw, I notice they're hitting the tripod leg. So you're probably hearing it. It will resonate through the tripod. One, two, three, four, one more. I did have a bit of trimming here. You could come up here and trim it a little bit. Shading on the side. This fine. I want to point out to you that I'm going around this way as I cut. And this will be the outside of the isosahedron. But if I cut the other way, uh, I'll get a very different result. Very good job on this one, but I just wanted to show you what the difference is. Depending on having the bevel on one side of the line or the other. Okay? And it's off. And there's the difference. Okay? So, take it back to square and uh, get these five pieces and they should come together to form my sausage okay that's how it works just to get them to fit a bit better okay now they won't hold together without some tape or something there there you go all right hope that helps